Hey guys, welcome to this video. My name is John Watts. I'm a consumer protection lawyer and I thought you might be interested to see some numbers about lawsuits filed against maybe debt collectors, credit bureaus, and we won't dive into the details of them, but just to get an idea, you know, how many times a year is Equifax sued? How many times is portfolio recovery sued? And so uh, we will do this. Let me know if you are interested in these types of videos and if there are particular companies and I'm happy to do something on those and there's a lot of data that's available so this is a service that I subscribe to that is just fantastic so let's just type in Equifax and we will see what we get here so it's telling us all the different versions we'll just take this Equifax information services and then say view litigation and so it's coming up with in Federal District Court, 14,000 cases. Now, this is going to be from the time period of, it starts in 09, okay? So, let's just say that we want to look at 2021. Well, 1,866 cases were filed against Equifax, either directly in federal court or they were filed in state court and got removed to federal court. But even here in 2022, we can see there's 344 cases, consumer protection type cases. This is not always 100% right, but it's close enough, okay? And it's very, very accurate. So this is telling us 36 of those cases were filed in District of Minnesota, 27 Northern District of Georgia. You've got Kentucky, Illinois, New Jersey. Here are the judges that have the most number of cases. And then we can actually look at these cases and we can sort them by most recently filed. So we can see this case was filed on the 22nd. So yesterday, as I'm recording this video, uh, you know, a number of cases filed on the 22nd. We've got them on the 21st. And so we can go in and look at those cases and see exactly what's going on. Uh, and then this will also give us a lot of data if we want to know. Uh, we can look up law firms, parties, damages, you know, have there been verdicts? Now, it wouldn't be on anything filed this recently. But again, just to give you an idea, just in January, uh, we've got, January and February, excuse me, we've got 344 cases. So let's kind of back that up and we'll just type in Experian. And so it, it won't be exactly the same, but it should be pretty similar. And so let's see what we find out here. So in 2022, we have 271 cases filed against Experian. And you'll see, you know, it's not exactly the same. There were more uh, filed in Northern District of Georgia, which is where Equifax is located. Uh, so that makes some sense. And again, we could look at these in detail to see, okay, what's the most recently filed cases and so we've got this one filed on 22nd, uh, Actar, see that one's against Equifax. So there'll be a lot where there's an overlap here. Let's take a look at a debt collector. So let's say portfolio recovery. And so portfolio recovery associates. Now, this does pick up some state courts. So you can see 107,000 cases in state court. It's only in a few states that they have their data. So we'll look at the federal ones. And so in 2022, Portfolio has been sued 45 times. So a lot in Florida, some in California, Indiana. And so again, here are some cases, Middle District of Georgia, Florida, Florida, all these types of things. So uh, I, I wanted to share this with you because I thought you might be interested if you are dealing with a particular company. So let's do one more. And then if there are any companies you want me to look up, uh, just put it in the comments and I'm happy to, the next time I do this, we'll look those companies up. So here's Midland Credit. Now again, we'll have to take out the state court because most of those will be collection type cases. But in federal court, we've got, you know, 36 cases filed in 2022 that are consumer protection, 357 in 21. And so you can see, you know, that's, that's pretty consistent. 
and that will probably average out about the same. And so uh, I thought you might be interested in seeing this data. And if you have any questions about this or any suggestions on what to do next time I do this, uh, just let me know and I'm happy to do it. Okay, guys, have a good one. Bye-bye.